Yo, Vizanti here. So they did a 1.4 live stream for Genshin, and we're gonna react to it and watch it. Um, I just woke up. I'm like an hour late because I like, I like my sleep. And apparently, there's Venti and Rosaria. Right? Damn, are they coming back? I don't know. Um, give me a quick moment here, and we're gonna start the stream. Or Hello, and this is welcome a VOD, to the Genshin but... Impact version 1.4 special program. I'm Zach Aguilar. Many of you already know me as the voice of the male traveler, Ether. I hope. <laughs> and once again, I'm joined by... Hello, everyone. I'm Karina Becker, and I voice Paimon in Genshin Impact. You know, Zach, I think more and more people are finally getting to know your voice from these special programs oh. we keep doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. And this time, we have another very special guest joining Venti. us. Please welcome the amazing Erica Harlicker. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Erica Harlicker. I voice Venti, the windborn bard, who is, spoiler alert, otherwise known as Barfing, oh. the animal archon himself. Hey, you're that far behind there. <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled to do version 1.4 previews with you two. This is gonna be so amazing. So great to have you, Erica. That Venti laugh is already a classic, and your voice is amazing as Venti. Do you mind sharing a bit about how you do that for our players out there? Yeah, well, okay, it's top secret, but since I like you guys, I'll tell you. Okay, you just have to get into, like, the right headspace. So, think about apples. Oh, dandelion wine, delicious. Gliding is so much better than walking. I'm the greatest five-star in the whole universe. And then you just speak. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, 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 let me try it. <clears throat> <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> that was so good! <laughs> yeah, well, you know, okay, I tried my okay. best. Um, anyways, before we get to the new version previews, I'd like to thank all of our viewers out there for joining us today and for their continued love and support of Genshin Impact. Yeah, thank you, everybody! Thank you, you're all amazing! So, how's your journey been through version 1.3 so far, Erica? It's been so Dude, cool Geo to power, look, but man. my favorite thing so far has been the Lantern Rite Festival. I'm like... Okay, so I'm like low-key obsessed with wish lanterns and it's my bucket list item to like do one of these festivals in real life one day. So doing it in the game is so cool. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, yes, it's so pretty. Oh, and by the way, how was your fight with the Primo Geo Bishop, Zach? Easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Um, <clears throat> I think it'd be better if we just take a look at the content in version 1.4. Hey, no changing the subject. How many times did you die? Uh, you know, just uh, the lot, not that many. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Why I don't, don't think I ever died. things off with an overview for our viewers, shall I? Did I lose a character? I don't know. Go Maybe I lost one character. <laughs> All right. In version 1.4, travelers will get the chance to take part in the Wind Blue Nutter, Festival, Nutter a festival. traditional festival of Mondstadt. <gasps> Another festival. Back to Mondstadt. Oh my gosh, I love it. And we get a new area, Mondstadt. please. Oh my God, it More exploration. So yeah, it's a festival new stuff that gains to see. its spirit from a thousand winds, which I love. <laughs> plus, in version 1.4, we'll have a new playable character, several Rosary? special events, and a new style of gameplay to explore. Also, the Five game's star. main storyline will be progressing in version 1.4, so uh, how good is that? And last but not least, we'll be having some optimizations and adjustments to our overall game. And we get like a new too. mode. Wow, sounds so exciting. I can't wait to see more of the details, especially for That's the Wind Festival. <laughs> but before we get into the juicy previews, let's not forget to more end game that we stuff. will be giving away oh, yeah, redeemable redeem codes for our live I think in the Discord, the um... Always, some of the viewers posted might it. appear at any time during the show. Right. So stay tuned and be ready, everyone. Okay, no time to lose. Let's get to the official trailer for Genshin Impact version 1.4, Invitation of Windbloom. Let's go! Windbloom. They're doing all the festivals so, for all the archives. Traveler, kind of. The Mondstadt Windbloom Festival. Do you like it? Oh, wow. Okay. Everything is very blue or teal color. Teal. That's some, uh. Come on, put your skills to the test. Stuff. Oh, we gotta dodge bubbles. Oh, these are puzzles, huh? We gotta collect them. Like, yeah, Come so we collect the flowers and collect stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, no, I got these archer. They don't have a geo archer. 
So these things will be all over the world. Oh, you got a adventure with rhythm you? game? Oh, Just like we do if I was on your adventure team? Could I ask you for some guidance on my chivalric training? I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. I, I feel much better now. That was well, a big ass fight. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to say, one. but... Look out! Oh, good. A Noel story. Based there in Chungyun. How's the research going? In it. Rosaria, I guess. Don't overdo it. Eleven days for now. Take care of the dirty there you go, Rosaria. Rosaria. Sorry. I hear you've got a job for me. She's a four star though. You can't run. Decided to make her a five star. Light. Whoa, 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 new weapons? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. New weapons there. New boss. I'm guessing. Water assassin that is in child. Wait. Oh, there's a more into this area. Time and space. Nope. Did like sister? Like kind of short, shortly appeared. Challenge festive event. Forces four parts again. More sources between what's that? Oh, there's a water event thing. Tides. Hangout event? Oh. Whoa, what's this? Branching storyline? Hey, and the KFC stuff. <laughs> KFC skins. Oh, skins are probably coming out. Oh. All with all platforms oh, that wow. wow, Mondstadt is so pretty with the spring vibe. It looks like the whole city is decorated in flowers. And those mini games, oh, they look like they will be a lot of fun to play too. <laughs> right? I'm more interested in the new enemy though. I got goosebumps when yeah. you appeared in the trailer, like, ah, scary. <laughs> Same. Ah, so scary. Why don't we start by introducing more about our new playable character and that oh. scary new enemy. All right, it's all you, Zach. Uh, development version. Do those hip swings. The four star doll, right? Damage numbers, please. This should show damage numbers. Lance of uh, ice. Listen, disciple. If you've got a problem you can't handle, then I'm the one for the job. But if you're looking for prayer, you'd better find some other sister. Huh? You're not a disciple? Alrighty. The new four star playable character for version 1.4 is Rosaria, one of the sisters from Mondstadt's Church of Pavonius. Right. Oh, I remember her. She's the mysterious one we encountered in Dragonspine. You know, the one with her guard is so high she can't even see over the top of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she kind of just looks like bored and apathetic. <laughs> I guess it's no surprise that she has a cryo vision. Fits her personality, nice huh? And as for her weapon, she wields a polearm. Ah, uh, cold and sharp. Yeah, sounds about right for her. Nah, sharp she might sword. appear to be indifferent and uncaring, but she defends Mondstadt in her own way from the shadows. Let's jump into some of her skills. Sounds good. With her elemental skill, Ravaging Confession, Rosaria swiftly shifts her position to appear behind the enemy and then pierces and slashes them with her polearm, dealing cryo nice. damage. Oh, okay. So note to self, never play hide and seek with Rosaria. She'll be sneaking up behind you with like her icy gaze. Oh my gosh, I am also like okay. easily scared. So that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But one thing to note though, is that she can't use this skill to travel behind larger enemies. Aww. Oh, I was 
was just was thinking weak. about how Rosario would take on enemies like Ruingar. Would you just go but forward? But the Fleet are doomed for sure. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've never really stood a chance. <laughs> Once Rosaria unlocks her talent, mm. Regina Probationum, her crit what rate if? increases while attacking enemies from behind. Does it just teleport in front then and stab? Okay, so is it just Seems me like or she's starting skill. to sound less like a woman of the cloth and more like an assassin of the blade? <laughs> yeah, but an assassin lugging around a pole arm, wouldn't that be like too good? It's a dagger thing. <laughs> well, somehow she pulls it off. Her elemental burst, Rites of Termination, is her signature act of prayer. After swinging her weapon to slash the nearby enemies, she summons a frigid ice lance that strikes the ground, dealing cryo damage. The ice lance will then periodically release blasts of cold air, dealing more cryo damage. Oh, well, that's pretty okay. cool. Uh, She'll not, be like, bad, you better bad. say your prayers because I'm saying mine. <laughs> After unlocking her talent, Shadow Samaritan, Rosaria increases nearby party Great. members' crit rate after unleashing oh, damn, her just... elemental burst. Nearby. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So she could be both like a damage dealer and a support depending on how we use her. Right. And check this out. She has a special talent called Nightwalk, which increases the movement speed of her party members at night between 6 uh, I feel like getting her just for the utility. Oh my gosh, so like and... the whole team can move faster with her in the darkness? <gasps> it sounds like we'll be out doing some nighttime exploration. Um, but wouldn't gliding be faster? Seems like a lot like... Okay, or... let me give my venti another go. <clears throat> but wouldn't gliding be faster? It's, it's just improving so much. <laughs> okay. It is. But we all know that floating is way better. <laughs> By the way, all of Rosaria's talents sound very... Highest, but Rosaria just doesn't quite look the part. She just doesn't have that like style or or vibe or what na what you know that. <laughs> I know, right? She she even misspells Barbados, uh, the name of the animal archon. Um, how dare? Uh, how does that make you feel? <clears throat> as the wind blows careless and free, so too may the people of Mondstadt do as they please. I guess. Well, that's one way to put it. So, where can travel to Rosaria? <laughs> right. Fun. She'll be available in an event wish, which brings us to the event wishes for version 1.0. Ah, uh, Child's so coming back. We'll be having and Venti. Both the Windborn only... Bard, Venti, and Child, Tartaglia, returning through their own separate event wishes in version 1.4. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm sure many players have... Oh, it's only for um, Child Banner. Live, like myself. Ooh. So now, we'll all have a I want to pull for Venti. I can finally have, have no one else to save for. I need myself, please. The Ferversaria. Wait, and it's perfect timing. We'll have the Windbloom Festival alongside his banner. I mean, what better way to celebrate a festival in Mondstadt than with the Animal Archon himself? <laughs> Hold my cider. <laughs> in yeah, there's the new, new weapon. Character, we will also be Mine seeing some new weapons in version 1.4 as well, such as the five-star weapon, five -star. Elegy for the End. And the Alley series weapons, Wine and Song, Alley Ily. Hunter, and the Alley Flash. Alley Ooh, series. Ooh, Elegy for the End. What a poetic name. And they're also pretty looking too. Yeah, yeah I'll they look great though. Yeah, they look great Keeping an eye out for these. Nice. And can we, can we do a um, transmorphication? enemy. After the version update, we'll get to meet our latest foe. This an Abyss Herald. Oh, Herald? isn't that the abyss enemy Herald. that the weird loner Dane Swift has been chasing after? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't call Dainsliff a weird loner. I, I'm, I'm sure he's got his reasons to act the way he does. He's a weird loner. But anyway, let's take a look at the monster. Guarding the some kind of portal energy source. Oh my god. This is what Dragalia could have been. There's like a portal opening. Go through time and space. Woohoo! I'm not gonna lie, he looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I'm Does. loving his aesthetic. Blue's my favorite color, but he also looks really scary and like I'm gonna die a thousand times, so right? I'm torn. He was huge! He was gigantic! Oh Only. my gosh, but he also seems like he's very related to our storyline too, which is cool. Yeah, that's right. So he won't be appearing as a regular boss yet. We're only going to encounter him in the story. Oh, what? Oh, so Lame. A one time boss? I can't die to him a million times yet? <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what becomes of him and the Abyss Order in later updates. 
Oh, as I'm we. super curious about how the storyline's going to progress need more stuff. in version 1.4. Right? Luckily, we Lacking do have some me. hints to reveal about that. As the story progresses, me. we will meet Bowkeeper Daneslyph again and delve deeper into the secrets behind the abyss. Let's be check out some things? screenshots, shall we? Oh my gosh, yes, I love spoilers. I feel like I know 0% about what's blows. going to happen in the next version. <laughs> Kokor, what? You voiced it. If anything, you probably know way more than Zack, who voiced nothing. Yeah, but I forget everything. Uh, <clears throat> well, anyways, let's get to our first screenshot. Whoa, Ooh, it's so purple yeah, and creepy. The... Those chains are like, ah, holding it in place. Energy, I feel like come worse. It, wait, is it upside down? It is indeed. As we oh, follow the Abyss Herald to a weird domain, travelers will discover a statue of the Seven hanging upside down. Whoa, yeah. that is um. very mystical. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in Storm Terror's Lair, we'll get to reveal secrets behind the first ever Ruin Storm Guard Terror into that. What's the story behind the ruined guards? I can't even start to imagine. I know. I want to find out more. Oh, yeah, with the codes. In James version 1.4, it'll be up to travelers to confront the Abyss Herald's scheme to build an ultra-destructive weapon. The story will be quite the ride, with some twists along the way. All of this will be awaiting players in the new that's update. His, that's, that's his, a, a that's his living here. armor. Come on, Zach, you can't tell us Art anything else. Hmm. Okay. Let's just say things are going to make an impact. An impact? Jokes, what do you mean? It's gonna change the whole world. Well, you know, joy, bitterness, relief, and disbelief, and all that good stuff. Ooh, mysterious. Come on, you gotta give us more than that, though. Our conquest, though. <laughs> I said nothing. Uh, let's leave it for our players to explore. As for now, we'll be giving away our first redeemable code. Okay, okay. Yay! Viewers, are you ready? Whoa, now's the time to summon your friends if you haven't done so already. Code inbound in three. Everything's already two, shared re one. usually. Oh, that's not this one. <laughs> it loaded up here. Probably do this on. Uh, I guess I can do it right now. Crystal thingies, upgrade weapon crystal thingy. Base in there. That's done, and then another one. Oh, probably gonna like skip the future one. I got all of them. You know. We oh, saw wow. in the trailer, the main event in 1.4 will be all about the Windbloom Festival. Yay, festivals! I just and want more endgame content. To introduce the festival Maybe that's Geo main the right now. Archon himself. I'm Take wrecking away, things. Erica. <laughs> Eventually, it takes time. Like, of this... Wine this... Seven... The rights of the wind, seven, two, and... Shall be your loyal guide. Well, one takes a little while. Everything else is super easy. <laughs> okay, fine. I mean, it seems like flex. too much work for me. <laughs> I run five Let's geos, by the way, but I want to eventually run Wind eight geos. Bloom is the festival of freedom and romance in Mondstadt. There's a tradition to send flowers to your loved ones during the festival. And people offer wind blooms to the Animo Archon Barbados okay. as an important part of the tradition, too. It looks like many people love Barbados. <laughs> what can I say? My popularity knows no bounds. Uh, so what exactly is a uh. wind bloom? Is it like a specific kind of flower? Uh, well. That's a question that even the residents of Mondstadt find hard to answer. Really? Um, here's a chart of all the wind blooms people have hypothesized so far. Wait, we even have a chart? <laughs> so just to be sure, they count small <laughs> lamb grass, <laughs> oh my God, his face grass and wolf book berries, berries arms. as flowers too? Eh, oh, why no, not? No. In the land arms, of freedom, arms seem color in the background look kind of weird. But which flower is the wind bloom in your mind? The wolf book is Travelers not a flower, will man. Get to choose one in the event storyline. Great! I'll choose sticky honey roast. <laughs> That's not even a plan. Stop telling me how to live my life, Zach. Uh, hey, I'll accept it as long as you bring some good wine, okay? Oh, what is the wine made of? Dandelion. Hey, he's had more. Dandelion. Hey, 
right? I'm not Stevie choosing it because I don't have that many seats. Joy is what we're all chasing after, right? There will be plenty of that waiting in the event storyline. Do just silly because that's the easiest. the anecdote section of the Windbloom Festival, we're going to explore more tales aside from the main event storyline. Oh, well, Don't folks. forget to check those out. Noted. But can we get to those well, mini games, please? That's I'm not on here. I'm super interested in those. <laughs> yeah, sure. We have three types of mini games featured in the Windbloom Festival. The first one is Bullseye Balloons. But they're happening at the same time, though. Get to put their archery skills to the test as they accumulate points for shooting the right balloons in succession. But be careful. Some balloons reward points while others deduct points. The balloons are so cute. Did you see that some of them look like kitties? I want to <laughs> get one of those. I know, right? Our second mini game is it. Floral Freefall. As its name indicates, travelers will be trying to collect flower balls while free falling through the air. Oh, I love floating around in the sky. <laughs> well, this one's less about floating and more about falling. falling. Uh, the more time you have remaining when you finish a round, the more bonus points you'll receive. So be sure not to float around too long. And of course, if you don't collect enough flower balls on your way down, you won't get a high score either. Once you reach the ground, the game round will be over. Mm. It'll be up to you to decide the best strategy. Well, we yeah, but then they, wind and they, for this if one, only they happen so all at once. Otherwise, I'm gonna we're gonna wind finish wind this stuff in like <laughs> an hour or two, yeah. and then we've got nothing else left for the rest of the Friendly reminder to our players: please be careful out there. Um, falling hurts. Unless you're Xiao doing an air attack. <laughs> oh, true. Our third and final mini game, and my so you can call favorite this. will be Ballads of Breeze. Oh, interesting. It has a lyre as its icon. Yes, and that's because we're gonna play the lyre in Ballads of Breeze. Uh, it's like the... a rhythm game. Travelers will need to press the circles on the screen at proper timings to earn the wait, points. Wait, oh, it looks super challenging. Wait, wait a second. There's yeah. archery, gliding, and like playing games, a lyre. But... <gasps> it's Venti. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> I guess the people can't help but take after their beloved Archon. Anyway, I really Rhythm love games, all those though. Not bad, I guess. Is there any chance that we get to play them after the events are over? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no. But Never. Travelers will be able to gain oh, no. two gadgets by participating in the mini games. One of which is called the Windbloom Festival Commemorative Balloon. So we are getting one of those balloons. Yay! Uh huh. <laughs> and the other gadget travelers. These things never never the stay. Wind song liar. With this liar, travelers may freely play oh. original music in the game, and you can even play the liar together with friends in co-op mode. Yes, sounds amazing. I can't wait. I know, isn't it so cool? <laughs> okay. Let's okay. Go okay. On to the but um, of the I need stuff that actually stays in the game. Hello. Peculiar oh? Wonderland. Oh? Oh, what am I even supposed More to stuff expect here? Any end game that stays in the game, please? <laughs> well, in this domain, travelers right, will on. encounter three small, randomly generated challenges to unlock buffs before facing off against a final boss. The hey. buffs gained depend on the performance in the small challenges. Let's check out how that works in game. Whoa, that's crazy! Particular I challenge. mean, they actually have that many challenges to play? Yeah, some look pretty familiar, like the bubbles and the electric cubes. Oh, and picking flowers. That's peaceful. Go up. Oh my gosh. I mean, players. So far, oh, I only no. see two. Oh my Before. god. Oh, and then you have to get to like places where it's not gonna collapse? Oh, I know this game. Fire party. <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> falls smart. so quickly, though. I'm gonna die. Oh god. <sighs> oh, Marky. Oh, oh, you have oh, to no, memorize memory it? Game. You have to oh, memorize no. it. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh no! It's a memory game. Oh no! I'm so bad at these. I I love memory games. Oh god! Oh, uh, I've already forgotten. It, oh no! I would have oh, done gosh. that one. Oh no! <laughs> I would have messed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Travelers will gain. That seems fun, like the Mario Party thing. And peculiar collab coupons from mini games and peculiar Wonderland respectively. Photo. Which only a thousand? That's not even a ten full, man. The four-star weapon Wind Bloom Why not? will be available for exchange up to refinement level five. Oh, that's such a good deal! So we better use this chance to get this fancy bow. Mm, but the bow might be good for yep. some characters. <laughs> and uh, that just about does it for the Wind Bloom Festival event. It's the weapon, wow, dude. I'm so excited for the liar. I can't wait. Uh, please come to my world and let's all play songs together. We'll start an orchestra. Yay! We'll start let's a whole jam. orchestra. Yes. We'll, oh, we'll make yes. No drums together. though. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and Venti knows every song, so Erica, you can teach us every single song in existence. I know, yeah. I know. I 
I just, I, she knows every song canonically, so I'll be the leader. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, coming up, we have more info there we go. on a new type of permanent gameplay. There we go, permanent stuff. Version 1.4. They're called Hangout Events. Ooh, Hangout Events? Okay, okay. That's right. Characters in game will send us invitations to hang out with them. Great. So, how do these Hangout Events work? Travelers do they, do they reoccur though? Unlock a hangout. I need, I need, in a hangout event, travelers will spend some time with the character. I need stuff that, that reoccur, otherwise it's not end game. To get to know that particular character even better. So they're sort of like story quests? But, okay, Actually, just... they're pretty different. In hangout events, travelers will be facing oh. different choices throughout the dialogues, and these choices will have an impact on how the story goes and what Friendship level? you get. Whoa, that's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> oh yeah. And certain scenarios can even cause those hangout events to finish without an actual ending. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, damn. So what if I choose the wrong Sim option now. and get an ending that I don't want? Or no ending at all? Will that be final, or can I get another chance? Yep, we'll have chances to retry. All you need to do is enter the hangout event again and choose different options throughout the story dialogues. In fact, travelers will be able to play through these as many times as they like. The more endings we unlock, the more okay. rewards we get. But then what happened when we get all of them? relief. I'd hate if I messed done, up right? one of the character's stories with my bad choices. Oh, I make so many Not bad, bad choices. Not bad. This is permanent. Right. Okay, bad. okay. <laughs> to mention that each time we unlock an actual ending we'll receive a hangout oh, daytime. memory illustration of our traveler and the character in the hangout of it oh so pretty oh these will definitely Ooh, that be noel one. she's still focused <laughs> yeah. genshin impact dating sim there we go. confirmed yes <laughs> <laughs> i'm all ready to hang out with them so who will be able to invite us to hang out well in version only these four right there now there will be a total of four characters to hang out with including barbara noel Benny, when did they come Tony. out though oh nice this is too much for one heart but as the traveler i hang out with everybody so i've got this yeah you got it <laughs> I know that everybody would love to know more about the characters. Plus, we didn't really get to interact with these characters in previous storylines. Yeah. Well, with the exception of Barbara. So, I'm super curious about what this will bring. I guess this is our chance to interact with them more. Speaking of which, I find it hard to imagine Chung Yoon inviting me out. <laughs> Maybe he'll invite you for a popsicle. <laughs> Maybe. And or you make you buy him a popsicle. More hangout events with future version updates. So be sure to keep an eye out for those down the roads. And now I can start my harem. Um. Ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to try these. So that's all I have regarding the new hangout events. Again, travelers should remember that these quests are lasting additions and won't disappear with fear. Any more of these that won't disappear. <laughs> that's good. But how about some events and challenges that'll be exclusive in version 1.4? Ooh, you're right on track. We'll get to those in the next section. Okay, with that in mind, I think it's time for us to give away right. our second redeemable code to reward our loyal viewers out there. Yes, finally! Version 1.4. So, what other events can we expect besides the Windbloom Festival? Well, first, we'll have Wishful Drops. Wishful Drops? Hmm, sounds yeah, like it has something thing. to do with water. You're sort of getting there with the water idea in Wishful water Drops. Water boss? Oh, we gotta fight ocean. A little life form who travels all the way from the nation of water accidentally causes a crisis in Mondstadt's wine industry. In the water? What? No, a crisis Avatar. in Mondstadt's wine Avatar. industry? Avatar. Ugh! Far be it from me to witness such tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a dream come true for Diona, though. I mean, she'll be happy. <laughs> in order to solve the problem, oh, they're out the travelers in the... will partner up with a little oceanid of pure water, explore oh, different damn. areas together, and help it absorb oceanid creatures. The oceanid will learn more and grow up in the process. And we're gonna oh, fight it? Like oh the boy. Won't be just dispatching expeditions. Nope. And after all the explorations are over, this is probably gonna come out first or something. Inventory, just like and the uh, event for the wind, wind bloom is oh, great. Another middle, little looks like last company. time, a week after oh, 1.4 drops. Hey, stop trying to take my job! <laughs> Back to the topic. While our little Oceanid is learning from its exploration, right. the event Ooh, get a Raging Rodea pet. will appear in Wishful Drops. It's a pet right there. Rodea. The pet. That's a familiar name. Uh, oh, 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 she's the Oceanid of Chingsa. 
Oh, yeah, her. Man, that's gonna be scary. In this event challenge, Rodea gets unusually boisterous and filled with rage, gaining some extra power and abilities. Oh, you can't hack her now. So it'll basically be like Rodea 2.0. And once again, I feel like I can totally anticipate my fate. But we got you covered, Zach. Traveler. He's so bad. He should be the traveler. Man. Directly to Rodea's body in this challenge, and we can team up to fighter in co-op mode if you actually invite me, Zach. So be sure to give it a try. Sounds Only good, but I'd like to know what we can get from this event challenge. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we are Frozen. going to gain a lot of character experience materials as rewards. Oh, thank goodness. I pretty much always need more of those. It costs original yeah, resin guess so. to collect those rewards, so it's not like unlimited. Aww. But... We need to stay, have these bosses stay, man. 2.0. Each time we help it absorb enough Oceanid creatures from an area, we will get one heart of the spring, which can be used one at a time to collect rewards battle, from uh, Rodea. There are five areas to explore, so we will get five heart of the springs in total. Woo, five free rewards. Nice. It leaves more room for other activities. Another new event coming in version oh, 1.4 required... is called Contending Tides. Whoa, what a cool name. And it just so happens that we have a cool trailer for it. Zach, I'll need your deep voice for this. Oh, really? You mean this voice? That's what I'm talking about. Ready? Action. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, oh. Everyone born in this corner of the world has dreamed about becoming the strongest in Tevat. Dada Upa Gorge's media Dada arena Upa. is currently summoning all contenders willing to fight for that title. Easy mode. Time limits, the status of your teammates, tough enemies, all manner of challenges oh, and goals. Oh, this one seems fun. Such things aren't good for your health, you know. Don't sweat. The proportion of conductive substances within the sweat from your battle-worn brow is less than 1%. Pretty much abyss, but <laughs> outside. Release powerful shockwaves in this manner and increase the damage of your next plunging attack. This is known in some circles as the art of the cannonball. Not, not Mighty ancient warriors shall do battle with the rising star known as the Traveler. He is this what they call a clash of the titans? Get her in. They need to have this stay here forever, man. Sometimes you gotta tough it out a bit to become the strongest there is. I don't mean to be rude. Frost arm lodgers, training? That's not fair to the weak. Fair of the week, what? No? This one is more exciting and so far. Cut! <laughs> oh my gosh, Zach, that was amazing! That was so cool! Okay, any movie trailer casting directors, uh, Zach should be in all of your movie trailers, just saying. Hey, yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm open to all opportunities. <laughs> As shown in the trailer, we will have all those challenges in Dada Upa Gorge's Media, Media Arena. Arena. Starting from the first day of the event, a new challenge with three difficulty levels will be added daily. The rewards will vary daily. for each difficulty. Uh, so do I need to fight three times to claim all the rewards? Nope. Upon completing a higher difficulty, all difficulties below oh. it will be deemed completed as well. Then we'll nice. just beat the higher but reward. you do need to pay attention to the completion criteria. There are three criteria per challenge, and mm. you have to achieve them all to complete the challenge. Oh, awesome. Looks like we'll have plenty to do there. That being said, travelers will get different buffs in each challenge. But they, oh, uh, they need to have this be permanent. Be Come on, game. To clear those challenges. Sweet. What's up with the so decisions? Kind of they need more, can travelers they need more permanent end game stuff. To wait and check them out in game. Ooh, they're probably related to those epic lines you just read, Zach. Who knows? <laughs> and that's all for the new events in version 1.4. How exciting! And as always, our last section will be about our optimizations right. and new features, new features added in Genshin Impact version 1.4. Erica, I'll leave this part to you. Okie dokie. <sighs> The developers of Genshin Impact always want to provide better gameplay experiences right. through new features and adjustments. And this time, we are having some handy optimizations, too. Let's check out what's on the list. 
At the top five, not four. Resin. We're level yeah, only lowered by one. Many have been hoping they would raise the limit, and it turns out wishes will come true. Really In version 1.4, Genshin Impact will be increasing the limit of condensed resin one can but not from three to five. Yay! So it we uses can resin, resin anyways. And use them in specific domains. Yes, that's right. And when we're too busy to play, we can save more than a day's resin for later use. Time to farm those crystal flies. Get out the butterfly can auto <laughs> The next optimization will be for the game's cooking system. After the version update, travelers will be able to cook food manually, even if they've already unlocked auto-cook for that particular dish. We can select how to cook more freely. Huh, but why would uh, we yeah, need manual why? cooking in the first place? Well, there's an achievement for cooking suspicious food, and if you've cooked every dish perfectly because you're just oh, amazing at the game, then you might miss this one. So now we can try this out suspicious. for any food at any time. Ha! Suspicious foods never stop Paimon before! <laughs> Speaking of which, with the new version update, overall production experiences such as cooking, crafting, and forging will improve with a new adjustment. The game will remember which character we've used to make certain products and will set them as default for the next production. Of course, there will still be the option to change the selected character manually. Oh, that's so nice. We won't need to scroll through the list looking for the right characters every time. Automatic? Now. Yeah, saves time and scrolling. <laughs> Another important feature change to expect in the version update is the game's it. world level system. In Starting about from one. version 1.4, travelers will actually be able to decrease their world level by one. Whoa, that's crazy. So it's like one ticket back if we don't want to stay in the harder world then. Or exactly. people to come in. Travelers will be able to dip their toes in the harder world. Like, uh, people can't join my world because my world level is too high. Or okay, lower it back <laughs> down. This change world level function will unlock at world level five, and travelers can manually lower their world level by one once the function is available. But the question is, can we return to the harder world level once we're ready? Oh yeah, totally. Travelers may revert their world level if they wish. And of course, about right before you from world bosses and ley line blossoms correspond to the current world level, so everyone will have to balance the pros and cons. Can you when change it noted, right before you collect the reward? Will only be able to change their world level once every 24 hours. So yeah. be sure to think it through before. Oh, 24 hours. Ooh, nice. This one's definitely an interesting change. Next, our in-game profile screen will have a new feature in the coming update. I need to oh, lower I it though. In 1.3, they added the character showcase. So what is the name card? <laughs> yeah, that's right. In version 1.4, there will be a new space to showcase collected name cards. Travelers can use the space to make some of their name cards visible oh, the friendship to others. One, level and 10. upon clicking the showcased name cards, they can view the descriptions and details yet on how to attempted. get them. All the more reason to collect more name cards. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, we'll have you some try? adjustments to the Spiral Abyss. With the new update, travelers will be able to exit the Spiral Abyss at the character selection screen between there we two go. floors. They'll also be able to check the elemental resonance of their two teams for floors that diverge. Great. That's what about so retry? helpful for building the right teams. <laughs> and that's not all. Travelers will also be able to restart the challenge mid-combat in the abyss. Ah, retry All now. we need to do is press the escape key or the button on the upper left to retry. Oh, so we'll be able there to we restart go. immediately when we know that we have to leave and come back in. A lot to get the best rewards. <laughs> yeah, right? This is a very important update to me. <laughs> now that'll save some time for the abyss grinders. Yup. And, um... That's all we got for new features and optimizations coming in version 1.4. I'm really yeah. excited to see all of these implemented. Sweet. The ten ties was that, an interesting I think one that I like. To unpack the last redeemable code. That's right. That's right. Everybody, get ready for two. Anything else? It's glorious end. <laughs> Sounds like Eric has been having a lot of fun on the special program. <laughs> oh, they have a <laughs> yeah. So tell us, Erica, how does it feel? A slime, to do slushy with thing. Us? This was so fun. I like. I love any excuse to be venti even more, and <laughs> I love you guys. I miss we you. We love you so too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I miss you so much. I know. Oh, you guys are the best, and I can't wait to do all the updates and play the mini games in the Wind Bloom Festival. Yee! Yeah, me too. I'm gonna enter into your okay, world okay. pack, and while you're fighting a big boss, I'm just gonna sit there and play songs on the lyre. <laughs> <laughs> Make it harder. Also come 
and play different songs. We're playing like two different songs while Zach's yes, off key. Yuck, awesome, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and we have volume off. Everybody's off. had a good time and will enjoy version 1.4. Don't forget to send flowers to those you love during the Windbloom Festival. Yeah. Is there a friend thing happening here? I don't know about. Flowing through Mondstadt. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Genshin Impact yeah, version for watching this special program. Reaction. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Later days. Amazing. I love you. Ah, Check out my stream down below. Genshin Bye. stuff when it drops Bye. and um, some other stuff.